Hello, good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Empowering Voices. We have a special guest, as usual, an amazing woman with us. Good morning, Cordy. Welcome, and thank you for being with us. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> so um, today we want to start our conversation with a very important word also for myself, uh, curiosity. And as many of you know, uh, of course, it's uh, one of uh, the words and embroidered on one of my t-shirts that of course you find on uh, my website. And uh, for those of you who are just listening, uh, just check the website, it's my name, amaragirone.com, and you'll find all the information. But uh, let's not... Uh, take more time away from our fantastic guest. Welcome, Cordy. Tell us a bit about you, why this uh, word curiosity resonates with you. Well, curiosity for me is kind of, a, it's almost like a magic word. It, for me, um, it was something that kind of lifted me, me out of some very sort of dark, dark times. Um, I went through a little bit of mom burnout and um, Been I say a little that. bit, <laughs> I know, right? Um, I say a little bit because I was able to lift myself out of it. I didn't have any, uh, any need for a medication, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, it was a, it was a crazy um, process. And um, it, in my case, it was mom burnout. It, it, a lot of people burn out in many different types of jobs. Yeah. I think if you're the kind of person who's just giving a lot and is ready to sort of you know, if you lose yourself in what you do and you just want to, you sort of aim for, for perfection and, and it happens, yeah, exactly. that kind of ends up. This is the, the wrong word to use in our life nowadays, it, perfection, absolutely. because it, it takes us very easily to burn out. Exactly. So, so to me, sort of lighting myself up again and filling myself up because I, I, I remember I found myself, you know, <laughs> at the bottom of the barrel kind of, um, and I was training to be a yoga teacher at that time as well. So everything, everything was kind of intensified because yeah. I was literally forced to, to take a good look at myself and through all the meditations, you know, it just like comes up like a storm really. So, so I, I found myself being empty. Like yeah. there was, you know, everybody was almost no talking about light inside and, and colors. And I'm like, I feel a little bit dead, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. And it was curiosity that, that sort of brought me back. Curiosity about myself, curiosity again, you know, about, about love and what it actually means. Um, you know, why are we here? What's the yeah. point? The big, the big que planet? life questions. Why am I here? Right? Exactly. Although to exactly. get to that point, uh, you need a very long process. As you said, you found yourself at the very bottom. Yes, it was. Um, I'm, I'm not a person who likes to say um, you have to hit like this is like a saying, right? Um, you have to hit your rock bottom beca because because. There's, there's no rock bottom really. It, it's, there's no end to, to the bottom. It can yeah. always go yeah. down further. Yeah. It's just you that can moment. start digging. It's that moment where in my case, curiosity kicked in and I was like, do you know what? I'm learning all about these, you know, how we're, we're able to change our habits, how we're able to guide our thoughts. Um, well, why am I not using this? I'm curious, yeah. you know, Will I be able to like reignite myself, fix myself um, without, um, you know, without anything? Is it going to work? Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure if I would not have been studying to be a yoga teacher, I probably would have needed psychological help or something. Yeah, but I or think, you would you know, have found something different. But of course, it came to help you, the yoga and all what exactly. you were studying. It, and funny enough, you were in the middle of it, but you couldn't see it yeah. until it, you wanted to see it. Exactly, exactly. Until, until, like I said, until I sort of had the curiosity ignited, yeah. Um, yeah. until I made the choice, do you know what? Something needs to change. Although I do have to say, I did have a little bit of help um, because it is always the problem, right? That we can't see that we can't look at ourselves and see what's wrong. You yeah. know something is wrong, but 
you know, you, you, you can't really, there, there's no Take momentum. a dance, a step back and see yourself yeah. from the outside. Yeah. That's exactly. the, the most difficult thing to do, actually. There needs to be a momentum. Yeah. So I was lucky that I met a complete stranger who, who I just, you know, casually spoke to. And then that person, uh, luckily, pointed out to me that there is something wrong with me, <laughs> you know? Oh. That my life, the way I live it, like, it, you know, it wasn't was, right. Was, yeah. There was no me. Mm -hmm. There was no place for me. There were my kids, there were my of family, mm -hmm. but, and there was this need to be perfect, but there was no me. Mm -hmm. You know, there was no, um, what is it that you like to do? You know? Yeah, enjoyment for yourself or whatever exactly. kind it was. Exactly. It was just a give, give, give all the time. Exactly, exactly. And especially as parents, I think we, it, yeah, it's very easy to slide into it. In my case, there were several factors that sort of amplified it. We moved into, um, into a different country and my kids way back then, we moved from Germany to London. Yeah. I didn't have any friends around. I didn't have any family around. Yeah. My kids were quite small. My, um, my one son was five and my other no even four oh my god he was even smaller and my other son won yeah uh, just yeah. about so yeah it, th that kind of that kind of amplified this situation you know try to you're in a new environment and you know you yeah no family no affairs. friends I mean emotionally exactly. you feel totally lost I've been there mm. Yeah, there are times because as an expert, every new yes, country yes. was a new adventure. But of course, as a, a and of course, I've lived the, the moving to a new country as a couple and then as parents, and it changes everything, especially when they are so young and they depend on you completely. You feel even more that that level of perfectionism that you normally want to get to got higher and farer and farer and you yes. are lost completely yeah and the other problem was that I wouldn't I, I didn't see how I can get help mm -hmm. you know with the kids or with you know with all stuff like the simple things you know yeah. I just sort of wouldn't let it in yeah Does that makes sense you know I yeah. wasn't kind of ready I was like oh no no this is I have to do this myself I you know yeah of I course have... it's very difficult to ask for help also because I think always being inside our body is very mm -hmm. difficult to see that we are in a very dark place we think okay tomorrow we will change and in one week things will improve and you keep being there until someone takes your hand and say wait I yeah. give you a bit of help. And this is exactly, this is exactly um, the right way to visualize it, taking the hand, yeah. because there is nothing else anyone else can do. And I think this was a real big, a really big uh, revelation for me. You know, you can't, you have to do it yourself. Yeah. I always call it, you have to be your own inner superhero. You yeah. have to connect to that own inner superhero and trust. Yeah. And to me, it, I needed to get in touch with my strength. I didn't consider myself to be a particularly strong person, even though physically, you know, I was doing yoga and I was, you know. Yeah, you were the super you know, mom for sure. And, yeah. In, in that sense, yeah. yeah. But I didn't feel it, you know. Yeah. And you have to actually feel it. And, and sure. I think especially when we, when we talk about women, it's strength that that we need to find that in ourselves and go from there not to see what we can't do but what we can do yeah and or what we, we have achieved already <laughs> and what we achieved already because only if we celebrate the little wins but it's like I don't know I managed to put my child in bed at seven <laughs> this time it's a big achievement sometimes and yes. we should celebrate it even if it's with ourselves you know absolutely oh my god I do I, I do I do that a lot actually now that I celebrate by myself <laughs> I can also say that when I hit that button to fill out your form and to send it to you I celebrate it a little that's because amazing it's <laughs> Yeah, it is an still. achievement. Look, first of all, for example, you could, okay, you are used to be in front of a camera. 
but that can be a big uh, problem for someone for example or yeah. to put yourself out there it's not easy and be vulnerable but of yeah. course here we are uh with the storytelling is exactly what we want to yes. right to support and encourage other women uh, who have been yeah. there and done that i told you that I was there I totally understand you and I know how difficult it is and it is difficult to see that you are in that situation first of all let alone to ask for help right yes yes but the thing is then as well that you um well I think once you're there and once you understand that things have to change things will come to you, as you said as well. Um, you know, the, the right guidance arrives and yeah. you have to take it. And there is literally, like, people can hold your hand on the path, but you have to walk it yourself. Yeah. And that sometimes needs strength and courage. And most of all, and we're turning it back now to curiosity, it takes curiosity. I personally find that, you know, doing new things can be scary. Definitely. But if you put that curiosity as a sort of underlying superpower, yeah, it makes it easier because yeah. our mind is wired mm -hmm. to be curious. Yeah, we wouldn't be sitting now with Zoom. Exactly, <laughs> you know, exactly. Some curious mind would have said, "Oh, how about this?" <laughs> yes, right? you are totally right. I totally yeah. agree with you. And yeah. of course, whatever step we have to take, our limit is fear fear of failure, fear of not being loved, whatever it is. But the, until we try it, we cannot know what's on the other side. And as you said, the curiosity is this guidance, like this uh, help to just, okay, let's take the leap and let's see. Because yeah. every growth anyway uh, requires a bit of pain in oh, everything, definitely. every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. It's a good kind of pain, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's always, you know, just like when you stretch a muscle, there's a good pain and a bad pain. The good pain is when the muscle stretches, but the bad pain is when you go too, too far. <laughs> too far, yeah. yeah. Of course, so we cannot be always successful in our life. This is to be realistic. I mean, we have to accept that uh, maybe things don't evolve like we wanted, but still, it's a learning. I don't like to talk about failure. I don't use this word, but uh, yeah. there are learnings, at least, if not yeah, always. success. Oh, always. So and it's always worth it. Yeah, I, it's interesting that you mentioned fear, because when I started sort of in the beginning of my whole journey, um, things come to you, book falls off the shelf, <laughs> books fall off the shelf. In my case, it didn't fall off the shelf. It came as a recommendation on my Kindle. Mm -hmm. And it was a book by Gabriella Bernstein called... Um, the universe has your back, oh, how to yeah. turn fear into faith. And I swiped it away so many times because it was like, oh, this is so tacky in the universe. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I obviously I ended up reading it. And I'm, a huge, fan, I'm a huge fan of Gabriella Bernstein because she, um, she resonated with me. You know, that's it. it people have to resonate of with course. me too. To, to make an impact in your life. So it, it was really lovely. But she makes a point, and I think it was in that book, she has written many other books since then, um, where she says, you know, you have to be open to, to where things go. Like you say, you know, it doesn't always go your way. That it, 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 there is many options always. Yeah. And you have yeah. to be curious to explore them. Sometimes an outcome will not be the one that you expected, but yeah. your mind is to be open to the fact that it might even be so much better. Yeah, and exactly. In so many countless situations, this it actually has happened to me that something didn't go my way, but the way it went was, it was even, even better. better. Was yeah, even opened better. the better doors and bigger ones. It, yeah. Exactly. It even led to like an unimaginable um yeah. Outcome. Yeah. I mean, we so, cannot imagine everything. I mean, it's impossible yes. for ourselves or the oh. others. Imagine how many alternatives. I mean, I'm, I'm always fascinated by that uh, movie called The Sliding Doors. Do you know which is? I don't uh, know. Basically, uh, uh, she creates like two parallel realities. If mm -hmm. that day she took that train and if. Oh, it, I it get it. Didn't. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay? Mm -hmm. So, two different lives, right? <clears throat> yeah. 
if you catch or not the train. So a stupid thing, yeah. the stupid thing ever. Imagine when we have to take stronger decisions. As you said, it can happen mm -hmm. anything. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And that is, I think, the uh, excitement of waking yeah, up yeah, every day, yeah. right? And see life a yeah. bit like a, an adventure in a positive way, no? not uh, the adventure where there Absolutely. are scary lions on the other side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's exactly um, what, what I had to go through. I had to fall in love with life again. Yeah. I had to fall in love with myself again. Mm -hmm. And, and, and yeah, love was pretty much the key to everything. I had to fall in love with the things that I do again. And this is where um, I, I, I reached back to dancing because I used to do um, Latin American ballroom dancing mm -hmm. way before, you know, in my, in my, in my teens and my tweens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, you know, when I had my um, family and when I got married, I kind of stopped doing it because I was a little bit more into yoga and there was just no room for it. But when I went through all of these, you know, explorations and, um, you know, asking myself, what is it that gives me joy? Only me, not yeah. my family, not my kids, but only me. Mm -hmm. What gives me joy? And that's when I put my dancing shoes on again and I haven't taken them off ever since. That's great. Um, in fact, I wanted to remind everyone <laughs> that uh, you work in uh, Hampstead for people local to us in Northwest London. Um, and in fact, you give lessons of uh, yoga and dance, but you are uh, available on uh, Zoom classes uh, as, well. as well online. So oh, anyway, all you. your all, all your contacts will be in the post, in the bio, on the website, on YouTube. Awesome, awesome. We cannot miss yeah. you. I do. I'm also super happy. Um, but when it comes to yoga, I have to say I, I mainly work one-to-one -one and in mm -hmm. super small groups because the type of yoga that I'm trained in, funny enough, is geared towards the individual to find the right kind of practice for the one individual and I really love doing that um because it saved me yeah <laughs> so, save so you else. have a sort of a mission to do the same with other uh people I do I just like you I deeply believe in storytelling and every story has a purpose and every story told is good it doesn't it doesn't matter you know the content because yes. there will be someone who who, who needs so to dumb. hear that yeah. yeah so everything out is better than in that's why I write a blog I'm not a perfect writer and it took me a really long time I, I took a writing class because in um, in school in Germany it was drummed into me that I'm a bad writer oh. so that was kind of stuck in me and yeah. I, I did uh, at the beginning of lockdown I did a writing course to sort of move that block aside yeah. yeah um, the limiting beliefs comes, uh, that stop yeah, us yeah. from uh, enjoying uh, um, but it was it was literally practicing and, and again being yeah. curious and yeah. um just getting stuff on the page not judging you know yeah so so when I write my book I'm not a <laughs> I'm not perfect in grammar I'm not perfect in spelling I do have someone who checks my blogs for that now yeah. but I've written I think by now 40 of them just story sharing my story sharing what I know um and and even though, you know, I've, I've, I don't have super many readers, but I like to believe that, you know, some, some people okay, are- Okay, it's not the quantity, it's the quality and the impact that you achieve, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's, it's there and I like it to be there. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I you draw... enjoy doing it. And yeah, look for and... how long you stopped yourself from doing it. Exactly. And I draw my own- uh, in, in... I'm also an illustrator and a graphic designer. Oh. <laughs> That's why I studied as a day job at some point. So I have immense fun doing the, the cover art for it. I oh. go back to the comic <laughs> self, you know. Um, my, my, my little comic book self. So oh, that's amazing. So, yeah. it's, you it's, are it's a multi-passionate and with uh, a lot <laughs> on your yeah, plate. It's creativity. It's creativity yeah. that drives it. I think you know, once you're in touch with the creativity and you're, you're allowing that little, you know, whatever it is, dragon or uh, that genius <laughs> that, that, that sits in the corner, once you let it in, 
um, it comes out so many ways, oh, you know, course. and there's no, there's no limits. Like I, I do crochet, for example, as well. Oh, really? So, yes. <laughs> yeah. you, you just, do you, you do just, um, the embroidery by any chance? Because I'm always uh, looking for someone. <laughs> you know have... what? I tried. I oh. tried. I got, you know, they, they sell these little sets, right? Where you have everything to, together. But, uh, but I, unfortunately, I don't think I'm very talented. Um, it, there was a lot of poking and a lot, I think um, I think but my my little son is very excited at the moment he does uh, cross stitching um as a little oh, project wow. in school and he was telling me actually yesterday that he's he's very excited about it so oh really <laughs> also my son I don't know. <laughs> yeah my son started uh, uh doing an embroidery when he was five he's quite good actually while my daughter really is not cool. interested at all <laughs> No, I have to make a little confession. I am actually obsessed with embroidery, um, but mostly, um, or this is how I sort of got into it, is the embroidery sort of on wedding dresses uh, and yeah. the embroidery on the, especially then on the Indian langas and all that. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I could look at this stuff for a day. For, for yeah. a day. It's just like the detail. It's just, yeah. when yeah. I saw you, I was like, oh my God, what a <laughs> brilliant idea to bring something handmade yeah. into this modern form and then with a positive message you know that can't be enough yeah, that is, yeah. and motivation. it's never enough <laughs> for you know to have this reminder because especially as women we we tend to forget i i yes. feel so and, a reminder to, yeah i think i think there's it's so amazing to see that there's so many many amazing women out there now pushing like you know you're one of them pushing others into the spotlight or giving others the spotlight um I'm kind of I'm kind of in this um um how shall I say sort of state of mind now it it's done you know it's it's the age of women it's coming there's so many amazing women entrepreneurs there's sure. so many amazing I it, 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 I think we I feel almost a little bit like we've made it already. We just need yeah, to Yeah, because like so, much so much so much talent. Future. Yeah, yeah. That and, we, and I think, we didn't see for ages. And now it's coming yeah. out finally. Yes. And we're yeah, absolutely. And um the one one little piece of it that I am especially behind is moms because um this this when I see moms who try to build their career and be moms. I just think it's not fair because being a mom is a job and I don't really, yes. I know, I know society does not, does not accept it. When you yes. say my full-time job is being a mom, you know, people go with their eyes and they have their little, yes. oh, lady of leisure kind of thing. Yeah, but yeah. if you're a full-on mom, you're a full-on mom. You're a psych psychologist you're a, you know yeah, you are full-time so uh, organizer uh account manager i mean exactly. there are thousands of jobs in there involved so in i'm always i'm always um standing behind the moms and 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 wanting them to realize that being a mom is a full-time job and whatever okay. you do extra is beyond human like this is beyond human uh, yeah. ability because yeah. we humans are not robots we have an end and yes, I had to learn that as well I have not endless energy I had to learn to say no yeah even to my kids funny yes. enough to to their advantage because they will mirror all this back at me now they were my exactly. greatest teachers when it came all to to learning you know to say no and you know being more myself and and they they embraced all that more um than anybody um or they benefited more from it um, definitely anybody. because instead of having um i don't know a, a very tired and hysterical mom because uh, you try exactly. to do everything at, at your best and you didn't achieve it they have a person who happens to be a mom <laughs> as well, an entrepreneur, and all the other hats that you have to wear, of course, uh, uh, yeah. in the professional and personal life. Absolutely. And it's absolutely worth it to be authentic like this to your children. Yes. Like, I remember I would explain to my son I that I'm, you know, when I was tired or, um, you know, things just couldn't happen because something else. I, I remember explaining to him and saying, look, I'm just like you, I'm a human. I don't, 
And and now he will say it back to me, my 15 year old, he will go, he will say, mommy, are you sure you can do this? Or he will then say, thank you so much for doing this when he realizes it's something extra. Yeah. We, we have to put this in the, in our children. This Definitely, kind of we have a responsibility we have there. To, yeah, of we have to teach them compassion for them to have it. And and um, I I have to say, I, in the beginning, I, I, I did get this bit wrong. I just try to be sort of a perfect mom, right? Yeah. Doing everything, always smiling. They call it uh, the Pinterest mom. It, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, really I like that, yeah. So, so not never being angry. And I have to say, I did have a lot of judgment over or in my in my mind over moms who were angry with their children and stuff like that and this is like the mechanics right the stuff that you judge the most in others is what you need to look at yourself so for a little while I had to be angry I had to learn to be angry as weird as it sounds and (laughs) but anger is a a feeling we are always taught that it's a bad feeling we cannot be angry we had to hide our anger no it's a feeling of course you have to know how to manage it but it is a feeling every feeling every feeling is good because you're having it yeah. And you need to know what to do with it. Yeah. And anger is a very healthy feeling because it tells you a lot about yeah. what's going on in the particular situation. Yes, of course, we cannot bite anyone's head off as much as we would like to do it. <laughs> but there's always a pillow that you can punch. Yeah. There's always yeah, of course. Or you can there's always ways. I even I even once considered to do a yoga class for angry people mm. because you know we do warrior and that's a really good pose to, to you know it's not always you know the serene and the balanced and the beautiful no there's oh, of course. there yeah. is you know there is room for these things even yeah. in a yoga practice yeah. and um, it, yeah and I I, I, I do I'm, 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 a, I'm a very big um and especially in our family or in my closest surroundings I always encourage everyone to to feel their feelings and yeah. and um and to 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 make them know to acknowledge yeah. to acknowledge <laughs> them first i yes. i always tell especially my daughter she's a bit older she's 12 and i always say oh. give them a name and a face it's easier to deal with them the good and the bad because sometimes the good the good feelings i don't know love if it's extreme also love can become something sort of a problem so we need to balance any kind of feeling yeah that I think it all comes back to self-love and appreciation and knowing you know where you want to be and and who you are really and not being afraid of it you know I I really got um, back into my like, like I said my little comic book self I will go to comic con with my son wearing my Captain Marvel outfit and not blink for a moment because do you know what? It's fun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <You don't care. laughs> and we're having a blast of a time, you know, doing this together. And um, yeah, it's kind of the, it's the joy it's almost in life. Give, give it, right. you know? Giving yourself permission to enjoy life. And then we are so harsh on ourselves. Uh, and Very I noticed often. especially yeah. women for whatever reason, but of, of course, uh, the approach to life is totally different uh, between uh, men and women. And we tend not to uh, be tolerant with ourselves. And, uh, once, much, yeah. Yeah, and once my coach, uh, a coach told me, don't never talk to yourself the way you would never talk to your best friend. Absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. we do it all the time. <laughs> we are our worst that's, enemies. That's true. That's, and this is where I love this little inner superhero analogy because it's a voice of, of inner reason. It's a yes. voice of, you know, when you have these thoughts, self deprecating thoughts, yeah. it's the superhero that swoops in, picks you up, and goes, yeah. wait a minute. Right? Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let's sit down. Let's have a cup of tea. Yeah. Let's calm down. Let's slow down. And do you know what? More often or not, that is enough to just slow down. We get rushed so much. Yeah. There's so much information hitting us. 
and it's it's almost in disguise because it's, it comes from so many different sources and it's it, it it just it feels like it it has to be that way you know like you you get sucked into it yeah but yeah. if you just if you slow down for a minute and 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 think about you know what's important what do you really want to do what do you love and what you don't know i always like to point out that i really hate cooking and that i really hate doing dishes and i'm not afraid to say it and it it brings me joy to say it <laughs> because yeah you feel I liberated do, finally it's liberating. I, hate yes, it. <laughs> I hate it and I will step up and I do the dishes obviously I do yeah, it yeah, of course. you have to do but I will be very loud about the fact that I hate it <laughs> and it makes me feel better because then I can think about how can I make this better I will put on headphones with my f- favorite audio that's amazing that's what is better. and the other positive thing is when you are being vocal about what it is that you don't like guess what? There's people around you who love you and they notice it. And do you know what happens? They come around and say, oh, I know you hate doing dishes. I'll do them for you today. It happens. Yeah, of course. Until you don't, if you don't say it, who knows? Exactly. My son comes around and will do the dishwasher, empty the dishwasher for me. But he he does it because he knows I hate it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So, and he, he literally says, he said, oh, I mean, I'm going to do this for you. And even if I say, oh, can you do it for me? And he goes, oh, not today. He will come back and still do it because, okay. you, know, you know, like this is human. This is yeah. human yes, behavior, you know, sharing and, and, and being loud, you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> when I teach and I, I just realized that I'm going back into the studio, I'm teaching the, the dance fitness that I do. I'm loud, you know, all of a sudden <laughs> on Zoom, you can't really be because you have the interference with the music and the yeah. voice. And when I stepped out of the closet, I'm like, yeah, that was good. You know, you have to be loud about the positive emotions that even adds to this, you know, um, definitely lifting notion of what dance as it is already is. But uh, yeah, always, always say and, and, and um, make your feelings known, even you know also the good ones good ones bad ones uh, and the other you reason like your boss? Yeah. <laughs> <Tell him. laughs> and the other reason why we have to be loud about the feelings sometimes the 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 feelings that make us uncomfortable if you speak out they reduce in power you see them for what they are and not for exactly. these yeah. monster waiting there to <laughs> to eat you yeah. basically yeah yeah there is a, it's, it's funny that you say monsters there is a, a quote that I really love um and I think it's it's from a Marvel movie um it's Dr. Strange who says it he says we can't escape our demons but mm. we can rise above them yes so love it when, when yeah no it, it it really is very powerful because it is true you know we all sort of think that we have demons or things that we don't like about us but the truth of the matter is you know getting rid of them is is not really the point the point is to see them what for what they are you know yeah and and envelop them into yourself and taking the power out of this is by is by rising above it you know you you kind of you look at it from a different perspective you know you you and that perspective is, you know, it's not all that bad. Like, I'm a super into this perfectionist stuff. I don't think I will ever get rid of it. But yes. um, <laughs> I have it. It's like sitting on, on yes. it's like a parrot sitting on my shoulder and will go yes. into my ear. From but time to I, time, it will come yeah. back. There's no point in trying to defeat yeah. it completely. Exactly. Yeah. It's my choice what I do with this voice. Yeah. If yeah. I ignore it, it's like a little toddler and you, you know, you had little kids, you know what it's like. You yeah. ignore them yelling, mommy, mommy. Oh my yeah. God, you know, the world will break down. But if you come to them, say, listen, <laughs> sweetheart, you know, I love you. I'll be with you in a moment, in five minutes. Let me just calm down and then I'll speak to you. Things will yeah, everything be much changes. better. They will not be fine maybe, but they will be, it's a much better approach yeah at least you don't <laughs> become crazy yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. And it's this, this goes for all of these voices we have inside. You know, if you, like I said, it brings it back down to the slowing down that I, that I mentioned. If you take a minute and listen, to, and sometimes I have to say, I'm a big drama queen as well. Like I will make, I will make, and this is a skill. I'm sure it's a skill, must be a skill. Yeah, <laughs> no, for sure I there's the side where it is a skill. <laughs> I can make a um, elephant out of a little, you know, little. Yeah. I had my 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 um my washing machine broke down the other day. Oh my god! I could make a big drama. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> but it's just sometimes the drama has to come out, you know. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> if you put it out, it helps. And the other thing is, if you put it out, if you let it, and you have this ability to look, you know, to yes. to say, okay, you're sitting on my shoulder, you know, you, you rise above it. Yeah, it can be so funny. Honestly, I <laughs> often catch myself laughing at my own thoughts, thinking, "Really, this is what we're thinking?" No, seriously. Oh, honestly, yeah. I mean, oh you start God. taking life a bit in a lighter way because things happen every day. I mean, uh, can we avoid oh, it? Gosh. No, but uh, can we erase above them? Yes. Yes. You said. And yes, and, and yeah, that this I, I love this. I love this way of looking at things because it does it does bring out the humor, you know. Yeah. The, in, in in some, I have to admit it is difficult. Now talking about the, the washing machine, I almost had an heart attack. I mean, in this house, cannot stop working. Really, <laughs> I could really. Uh, it happened right in the past, and if you think afterwards really it was a big drama out of nothing oh, yeah. i yeah. had pictures of myself repairing one i was desperate oh my god and yeah okay it was a terrible adventure while i was in it but anyway at some point i started laughing there was my mom from italy who kept sending me this uh, picture <laughs> don't forget it don't forget it. it was fun in the end I love we, this. we should I love learn it. it it takes uh, a lot of energy to learn and look at oh, yes, this it way does. and uh, a bit of time as well. Yeah. And we cannot it, succeed all the time or to see life no. like that. But those times that we succeed, oh, it makes life much easier. Absolutely. It's definitely worth not taking yourself too seriously all the time. And this is actually the bit where dance fitness comes in and this is something that is probably not so obvious about it um but this because when you take yourself not too seriously right it's one another way of just letting go of the situation yeah mm -hmm. so especially in dance fitness I mean there's a huge difference between dance and dance fitness a dance class you will go and learn the moves and the teacher yeah. will take one choreography that is you know half a song or whatever do it over and over again with you in in the class and then you walk out of the class and done mm -hmm. when you and, the, the, and they will very rarely pick it up again or you know they might add on to it but it's done you know you you went through yeah. it and it's done now in a dance fitness class you are hit with 12 songs at least with me I'm hitting you with 12 songs 12 songs 12 different choreographies and it's not about getting it right it's about getting through <laughs> yeah Keep moving from the beginning to the end and getting through. And it's about letting go of oh, that perfection. Yeah. You're not catching the foot movement. Forget it. Next one. You're not catching that arm, arm movement. Forget it. Next one. And I see that in people who come into my class, how frustrated they can get. You know, how this. Uh, like, to make it perfect. And, yeah. Ah, yeah. You know. Yeah. But you have to learn to let go. Let the music take over. Just let the fun of it take over obviously you have to be the dancing kind that I'm that is a given yeah but it's a really good practice to yes it's a way where to start but I think every artistic outlet has this power if you concentrate on the process and enjoying it without considering the outcome it's yeah. a way to feel liberated and then we should apply that to everyday life I started recently a watercolor course that I always postponed oh, in my life yeah. because I was scared of failure and <laughs> I failed. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't use the word. I'm sure no. you did it. I'm sure you just think you did. <laughs> no, but the second I started enjoying the process and I forgot that I had an, an outcome to achieve, 
everything went much better. I mean, yeah. the result also was better and I love it. I really, yeah. it's, I always say it's my three hours a week uh, uh, therapy because I forget mm-hmm. about everything cool. and I just enjoy it. And yeah. with your dance classes must be exactly the same. And then we should it's, from it's there even, take it to the, the everyday life. It's even a bit more mean because, you know, when you do your watercolor art, you actually have a piece in the end. When you do, when you uh, come to dance with me, <laughs> all you get is you a don't have any on your face yeah. <laughs> and a whole lot of sweat. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah. It's the it's the exercise part that's sort of the outcome. Yeah. And you know, if it, it dancing is magic and I stick to it. <laughs> um if if and I see this when people come to my class, they fit, it fits or it doesn't fit, right? But when it fits. Yeah, oh my god it's magic, it's, uh, yeah. it's magic. Um, and I saw this over the lockdown uh, when I was teaching online the people that did join me they joined me three times a week they just yeah. wouldn't come once a week they were there and it still is like that the people that do come they come every class I do there yeah. is no oh I do this once a week no it's this sort of yeah because it's not a, a duty you know? you know you don't have to do it for you know you do it because you want to exactly it's it's the love it's the love yeah. of um of, of doing whatever it is that you're doing not necessarily that there's a, a, a product at the end mm-hmm. but like yeah. you said it's the love for the process and uh, I was actually I was doing a, a first aid course yesterday all day mm-hmm. and we were talking that the gentleman was talking about you know how it, how there's more and more cardiac arrest mm-hmm. situations and um you know, it's because as a nation, we're getting bigger. Yeah. And it was that it was a course, especially for fitness um, and sports people. So so he was saying like, yeah, you know, you, you guys are are giving the tools, mm-hmm. but people are not taking it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you know, there, there are all the tools there to live a healthy Life. lifestyle. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I think what's missing is, is that awareness that living a healthy lifestyle doesn't mean that it's boring or that it's bad or that it's something that you don't like. There is something out there that you love doing that can be your exercise. Curiosity, be curious, go yeah. find it. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. is something out there. I had, I also had a, um, a nutritionist um, help me out with my food a little bit because I can't eat wheat. I can't eat soy. But I do a lot of exercise, so I need to, like, I had energy just, I'm like, I need help. I need to know what to eat because, you know, so, oh my God, there is so much stuff out there and eating healthy um, doesn't have to be sort of boring or tasteless or whatever. And to be honest, nowadays, we don't have any excuse because it can be uh, as tasty and as nutritious and even more nutritious, in fact. Yeah. There were things I didn't even know existed. Honestly. Yes. Um, w- one of the my my um, most amazing um, uh, discoveries was that there actually is a organic protein um, powder that you can have that doesn't have any any um, what is it whey I think or it's like soy stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I could never have any of that stuff and I, I I don't really believe in supplements and things like yeah, this yeah but what what I what I discovered was that it's just basically ground up um nuts and seeds that uh-huh. you it's just so finely ground up yeah that you, you add it a drink mm-hmm. yeah um it, but it's nothing it's not chemical weird. or and, yeah yeah so, oh my God, it just changed my life. Is it a problem? No, it's not. I'm, I can make it taste whatever I want to. And, you know, I'm, I, I consider myself quite fit because I do do a lot of things. Well, <laughs> if you are not fit, um, who is? And I'm not overweight, um, but I am also not eating, only eating vegetables. Like I'm, I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not a vegan. I'm a yoga teacher. I'm not a vegan and vegetarian. Just want to have, <laughs> have said that. <laughs> That's weird sometimes. Um, do I eat a burger and fries? Yes, I do. <laughs> do I eat chocolate? Yeah, yes, I do. No, but if we start uh, taking away things that we fancy, the time that we do, that is... Uh, 
taking away emotionally. So we will keep needing it. So we we have to just be balanced and see what we put in because we tend yes. to think from here to here but what happens down there yeah. we don't even think about it and that's also an interesting um bit connecting it back to feelings um when i when i got back out and you know got lifted out of my little dark space that's actually when i learned that i cannot um or that my body does not uh deal very well with wheat that mm-hmm. soy is a really bad idea for me yeah. to eat um it w- it was because you know through doing all the yoga and and all this sort of journeying <laughs> if yeah. you will um you you take the time to think about what your body feels like after you eat certain things yes and um and if you start slowly and it does take slowing down to do this you know if you make the connection if you say okay I was having edamames for lunch, but during the whole afternoon, my stomach was cramping and I was feeling really sick. Well, how about? Probably. Yeah. Find like, an alternative. And then, you know, and then you kind of step by step, you find out, you know, you, I didn't even write a food diary or anything because um, that was not my thing but um you you know just take the time to feel what it feels what your body feels like or yeah exactly you, to like, listen to our good body after what yeah. you eat yeah and yeah. um and I have to be honest you know if I eat too much sugar I feel really shitty yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know yeah if but... it's too much it's too much it yes. and you know if you if everybody in in the world is honest if they eat too much processed food they of don't course feel good. no one uh, is, uh, yeah Doesn't feel everyone good. <laughs> feels uh, something negative of course yeah of it's course just you just the... get used to it and then uh, well then uh, there's the mental part that unfortunately has to be addressed in a more consistent yeah. way because unfortunately food is an addiction for some people Absolutely. and yes, I talk yes. for myself I think I've started dieting when I was very young I mean maybe mm. 16 17 if I look at the pictures now I mean I was skinny and I don't know I but it dieting. becomes oh, God, yeah. yeah but you know the brainwash during the 80s when all the processed yes. food was starting coming to our yeah. markets from uh, the US was a big impact on uh, on my generation and we are paying the the price uh, nowadays right. of course but yeah. to change and shift and think that food is actually our fuel our mm. energy and not something that from the mouth that you feel mm. in the mouth and that's it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, it should but that be, process it, is really is really difficult I had to learn it too I had to learn yeah. it too you know, when you when you say but I don't, I don't think um I was never hugely Huge. overweight yeah but um did I use food to cover things up of oh, course yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I think um, most of us it, uh, has been uh, have been there. Yeah. Yes, it's small. It's small steps towards it, and I find. <laughs> I remember when my nutritionist said to me, she said, "Okay, so we're gonna do a week, and you're not allowed to eat, you know, no muffins and no like." <laughs> I was talking. Oh my god! I don't think. No. It's <laughs> How can I survive? <laughs> but it's the little steps that you take, yeah. and the pay and the paying attention of how you feel if you constantly focus on the i cannot have this and i cannot have that and ah, I cannot yeah. do this and you I crave cannot it do that, all the time you go course. nuts yeah you go yeah. literally yeah. nuts of and course. you know you, you got to keep up that curiosity to say okay I can't have this but what, what is there that i can yeah. have and how about i'm not thinking about being without my favorite chocolate for a week but how about just for today? Let's try just for yeah. today. Yeah. Like yeah we so are always extreme. No, Tomorrow no, I yeah. start exercising no. and you do two hours and say, no, it's not for me. Tomorrow exactly. I start uh, eating healthy and you eat like one pill a day. No, it's not for me. Of course. I mean, it's one yeah. step at yeah. a time. We should enter that mindset where only big uh, small steps you know the compound effect if you do small steps you will get to great achievements if you 
try to squash everything in one day, one week, you, yeah. you already yeah. lost yeah. Uh, completely the vision. A good, a good example outside of food um, is, um, is the plank challenge I do sometimes with people. Um, you, you know what a plank is, right? In yoga, yeah. when, you, when, you, when you go yes. into plank. Um, I, I, it's, it's, it's one of these little steps thing. I, I teach people to do it for one minute and, okay. you, st- and you have to practice every day. Mm-hmm. When you start out, you know, you put your phone down in front of you and you do the plank and you, and you put the timer and you see how long you can hold it. Yeah. You know, and this is, this is, I think this is a great exercise, not just physically, but also emotionally. You have to pay attention when you push too hard and when yeah. you push too little. How much can I go? How do yeah. I feel today? Mm-hmm. And I make them do it for an entire month. And, the, you know, at the end of it, most of them, they end up doing plank for one minute. And this whole thing, the exercise per day, doesn't take more than a minute. Yeah. It's only one minute. You would think, you know, everybody has a minute in it. Yeah, no, it's not. Actually, I did an experiment in the... It's so tiny. Yeah, in the last month, but we don't even take that one minute, unfortunately, most of the time. Yeah, so, but it's it's doing that, um, and and I did it myself, you know, when I uh, trained to be a yoga teacher, I actually did it before I went into the training because I thought I'm really not fit enough. So I I did it myself. And I could feel it changes your life because yeah. it changes your posture. It, it brings, of and course. then, you know, being a dancer, posture is so important in, um, because you have this element of, you know, presenting, even if you just dance for fun, you know, of it's, course. it's you. <laughs> there's a different, there's a different sense of posture and just generally having a good posture has, it has an, an enormous impact of course on on your mindset I was uh, I was uh, listening to Tony Robbins that you probably know yes oh I love him yeah I love him (laughs) and uh, he said uh, what about if you are with your um, shoulders like uh, Einstein and your Mm -hmm. uh, head down how do you feel like a, a loser what about if you open your chest and your head up how do you feel like you can face anything and yeah, it's uh, yeah. these little small changes that can make a huge difference yes and we and, just um, need to learn and practice yeah and um there's another part where dance fitness comes in handy because you are actually in a dance fitness class because you are so alert yeah mm-hmm. imagine i am standing in front of you dancing with you doing dance moves and asking you come do it with me come on do it with me yeah for 50 minutes 50 minutes for 12 songs <laughs> yeah. yeah so you have to pay attention of course in that time a whole lot how do you pay attention like yes. this yeah pay attention like this so during that 50 minutes your posture is being challenged we we'll walk out that this this is sort of the minimum that happens in a dance fitness class you don't even have to move much yeah <laughs> already that, paying attention yeah. and being alert exactly a lot. that's already that's already enough now to me this is really important and I write about it a lot as well uh, because I honestly think dance fitness is a little bit underrated when it comes to its benefits because yeah. there's so enormous. Mm-hmm. I, I said to my friend the other day, I said, I tell you, dance fitness is the new yoga. Yeah. <laughs> because, <laughs> because we need the good vibes. Yes. We're coming down from a pandemic or even during the pandemic. We yeah. need those good vibes. We need Definitely. the balance and center, but we need the power too, you know, yeah. the positive power. And um, I was I was talking to one of my uh, class participants the other day. And, you know, about all the, you know, Brexit and all the, all this stuff, you know, that's going on. And he was saying, oh, you know, the country's going down the drain. And I looked at him, I said, do you know what? I don't care. Yeah. We come here, 50 minutes, we bring the good vibes. Yeah. And we take them out into the world and let's see what happens. Yes. You know, it's, that's all we can do. It's the little 
It's the littlest thing. I can't walk up to Boris Johnson and say, hey, listen, dude. <laughs> I can't. But I can, you know, I can make people smile. I yeah. Can, you know, and that's a huge gift. That's all I can do. And th that's what I love doing the most. There is nothing more that I love uh, than, than dancing with people and seeing their happy faces and their sweaty faces, knowing that they're, they, they've done the exercise um, yeah. and they loved it. And because they loved it, guess what? They will come back for more. Yes. <laughs> so I'm, yeah, my, my biggest wish is to, you know, to do more of that, to do, to be able to, to, to make lots and lots of more um, people happy and help them escape um, from, from their daily grind you know like we, we and actually we even ourselves. help facing the daily whatever happens in a different way yeah it's never with a it's, smile we don't we don't get out of life right we, yeah there's, there's, I, I i um there's always there's always shit happening yeah. um i say this i say this so many times to my kids you know in school we're like oh i've got this homework and i thought i was done we're like yeah you know it's always it's, it'll keep coming it only matters how you deal with it you know and yes. sometimes you rise above your demons yeah. <laughs> and you look down and you're like right <laughs> how do we deal with it how do we get where we need to be And knowing where you want to be is key because if you start a journey, right, with your bicycle or your car or with yeah, the you, tube, yeah, if you don't know where you're going, yeah, you just you get lost. Get there? How are you going to get there? And how do we know where we're going is by knowing ourselves sure. and, you know, being kind with ourselves, loving with yeah. ourselves. And then actually, this little thing will pop out, you know, it will go. Oh, this is what I want to do. But for me, it, was, it came out and I'm like, oh, no. no. <laughs> Because there was this sort of somebody else inside of me, you know, whatever <laughs> else was put into me but before, you know, yeah. when you were a kid or at weird experiences. And, it came and, and, you know, you react and you say, no, but this is what you deeply want. And um, it takes curiosity to get there and it takes courage to then courage. actually do it, you yeah. know. I mean, and write I'm your story for... yourself and not let others yeah, uh, yeah, write exactly. it for you. Make it yours and, and, and you know, let, let it be unique. Um, I'm 44, you know, I, I teach a high intensity uh, dance fitness class. I started doing that three years ago. It doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really add up because, you know, that's when people become more quiet in their lives. Well, oh, why? The, I'm not <laughs> the kind. Not, not the moment <laughs> when you don't want to enjoy life. Uh, I mean, there exactly. is an age. Actually, And, I think oh, after 40, you finally realize what you want in life and what comes and what you need to be happy. And it is exactly then that you finally feel free to follow your dreams. Unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, it's also a matter of age and of experiences because I would have loved to uh, get to be where I am today a few years back. But anyway, where I am today is exactly the translation of all these years before. Yeah, and yeah. you're yeah. dancing. I mean, you feel uh, more uh, stronger than ever. Uh, more energetic than ever definitely also physically um yeah i was just um when my, my mom lives in in, in germany and, and we went to visit her finally you know after all the lockdown yeah. and i found a pair of jeans that i wore when i was 21 yeah and i slipped into it and it was actually a little bit too big yeah these so, are satisfactions <laughs> it is, life. Yeah, no it is definitely it. possible you know to yeah. to become The, you know, a, a, a strong, mentally strong and physically strong person, no matter what age you are. I saw yeah. the other day I, um, an 80 year old lady working out at the gym. Yeah. And I'm like, holy cow, you know? Yeah. <laughs> But uh, see, all this, all this comes from all the limiting beliefs uh, we uh, yeah. add, added up in our head. I had yeah. a guest yeah. on uh, on the podcast. I mean, she's 70 and she just started mm -hmm. another phase of her life. And she's an amazing artist. Oh, she's lovely. 70. And it's uh, why? I mean, do we have an age to be happy? No. 
no there is no age there is no gender which is a really interesting um concept because um i i don't know about your well your kids are probably still a bit small to deal with this but uh, mine are um 15 and uh, 11 now and um it, it, it it's becoming a, a a theme now and growing up I, I say I'm still growing up. I'm I'm not gr- yeah, growing up. Right? No, I'm not <laughs> done with it. But I'm, I'm growing up as a mother of this generation now, mm-hmm. and um, they don't see gender anymore. It's a yeah. completely different world. Their yeah. world, the world where my son is going to be a young man uh, and then an older man, is going to be very different from what totally. we are now. Yeah, because. There is no, we have a couple of, I have a couple of friends um, where their children have decided to be Mm non-binary. That is a whole new world. Yeah. Um, I already um, received a couple of lessons from my daughter because of course I don't, I'm not uh, so knowledgeable in the field. No, we don't know what stuff means. Yeah, no. Yeah. And I love it. I have to say, I absolutely love it and embrace it because it brings a uniqueness out yeah. that we don't know. Um, visually, you can see this. I, I'm a really big Strictly Come Dancing fan. I don't know if mm-hmm. you know what that no. is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know um, what it is. They, I don't they, have, a, um, they have two, a, a couple... Usually it's a boy and a girl or a man or a woman dancing together. But in this case, it's two men. Mm -hmm. And what they create on the floor is magic. I I can't even, it's something completely different from this traditional form of of dance. It is so beautiful. And to me, this is like the physical extension of I, I think what's what's going to come when our kids grow older, they will create their own relationships and their own identities. Um, yeah, very far away from gender, I think, or from from the gender definition that we grow up with. Yeah, you know? that uh, I mean, um, we were a bit put in a box. I mean, we are the same yes, very uh, much. age. I'm a bit older, but anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but, but, <laughs> but yeah, we were put in in boxes basically. Yes. Yes. And they, they don't have that. They completely shed this notion. So, you know, when I say I'm standing behind moms and moms, I don't think they will ever face this anymore because they will also create different structures of family. Yes. It's, it's, I am very excited. Although I have to say that I'm from the South of Italy. And yeah. uh, if I compare with uh, London, because not, oh, not even yeah. all England, but London, yeah. there's uh, like a generation, uh, uh, I mean, in the middle, uh, from yeah, the yeah. Men, yeah, from yeah, yeah. Uh, the stereotype point of view, unfortunately, but yeah. we are getting there. We are on the right path. I, I didn't grow up in a big city either. I grew up in a um, smaller town, um, 100 kilometers outside of Munich. And, um, and it's, yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. Like there's a, there's a, another generation difference between what yeah. goes on in a big yeah. city and outside. But if I look back, you know, when I, when I was younger, um, you know, a, a Chinese restaurant or you know like a like sushi or something was super strange but now yeah. it has arrived it yeah, does no, you're around. right the At change point, is there down. of course of course the, <laughs> so, the change so is true. there it's happening there's no way we yeah. uh, we are left behind because of all the technology and information and the circulation of people and goods and everything it's impossible not to be aware of what's happening in the world at least well not everywhere but in most of the countries so we are not left behind but maybe in some countries it will come a bit later <laughs> yeah no it was to me that just gives a lot of sort of faith that it's not all going downhill right ah, no, yes we definitely. had a pandemic yeah. and yes you know there's terrible things happening in the world, but yeah. there's also good stuff happening that sure. might just cancel out some of the things mm-hmm. that have happened until now. You know, yeah. like there is change is possible. Our generation, our children, they are curious. Yeah. And they do, they they look for other options. Yeah. And um, 
yeah they know the because part. they know <laughs> that it's possible you know yes. and also from the family comes uh when my little one he's seven he says mommy but can i be an engineer and an architect I said yes and you can also be a oh. professor and a writer all together if you want you yeah. can and oh. he said actually he said what about if i get to a burnout i said no you you need to be you know yourself so well that you don't get there but if you want you can achieve anything yeah. that is not something that at least my parents told me they said you better become a primary school teacher because in this way you have a wage every month they never yeah. told yeah. me you can do everything yeah and that's well that is one of the reasons I left my country <laughs> No, I, totally- I was never a primary school teacher. Uh, you need a passion and a mi- it's a mission. So it was. We, yeah, we're not so we're not so different in, <laughs> in that respect. But uh, it's really sweet that your son considers this. Oh, but what if I burn out? That is so yeah. precious to, yeah. to ask yourself that question. Will I burn out? Will I not? But um I was, we were in my last yoga class, we were just sort of those kind of the, a theme, you know, we were, we're talking about the inhalation and the inhalation is also called the inspiration uh-huh. inspiration yeah. and expiration yeah. right yeah so um inspiration is also a, a word for something else for inspiration yes, of course for, for that driving force and yes. inspiration is is the best outcome of curiosity because it is the fuel that makes you do right yeah and you do not realize how much effort is happening you're inspired there's nothing yes. better than yeah. taking inspired action I'm just thinking who was that who said it inspired I think that was Marie for Leo she uses that word as a like you have to take inspired action mm-hmm. with whatever you know when you create a business or whatever um but but it's the it's the fuel the most beautiful fuel um that, that we can have that that drives us obviously love is another one but <laughs> yeah well there are so many positive forces I have one of the yeah. my t-shirts that says uh, uh, live with passion in oh, fact yes. if you put passion in whatever you do from the smallest action in the day to your uh, career or whatever you get there and you get there so strong so happy as well yeah. yes you don't even you don't even notice the strain yeah. when your 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 action is fueled um, with with inspiration, and inspiration comes from curiosity. That's the the first thing I do when I don't, you know, when I don't feel inspired. You know, yeah. you sit and listen to yourself, what's coming up, and you're curious about what's there in your mind, and then and then there's a little seed, and you go, and you yes. you just. You sort of go with the flow. I was actually because you said you do watercolor, yeah. Mm-hmm. I do. I, I do watercolor um, ah. with some of my illustrations as well, and I always get the best outcome when I just play. Yes. You know, because water totally. runs, right? It runs, and you it it you cannot control it. Yeah, an artist friend said, oh, "Don't get frustrated because watercolor has uh, its own life." So don't, don't, oh my god it's on let life. it go I swear yeah. they have their <laughs> <laughs> no but it's it's true it's it's one of those things again you know that you you just have to give up control yeah. and trust. we have to play a bit more yeah that yeah. that it, it'll be all fine in the end yeah just trust you know what's going to happen trust the process yeah. um trust yourself to to get to to get to that outcome that you want and the, yeah watercolor is amazing to to as an example because yes. I'm still uh, a bit ashamed of uh, the results I have to admit but uh, I'm I'm playing oh, don't yeah. be don't be I'm enjoying um, it don't be because you know they, like that's why we keep sketchbooks usually you know to, to, to yeah play. no no definitely to, to um to and and more often or not you know you will flip back and then go. But you know what? It was actually great. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, if I compare my first day and I had now what for four lessons, the first day, okay, compared to the fourth uh, lesson, it's like uh, words apart. So I'm very confident. 
for the next one. Awesome. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. No, so Cordy, I, yeah. uh, you already gave us an amazing quote. I don't know if you have another one that you oh, would I like. <laughs> yeah. I'm so I good. always no. invite my guests to give us yeah. a, a quote that is very important for you in your life, in your business. Yes. Um, and that is one by me and not by someone else. Okay, that's the best. <laughs> so it's kind of like a motto that has appeared throughout, you know, as I was getting better and, um, you know, learning learning how to how to enjoy things more and, and finding sort of the key to it. Mm-hmm. And it's a little, it's, it's literally just three words. It's love, do, happy. <laughs> and it's Great. really simple. It, it's something that always reminds me to think about what it is that I really love, not what someone else thinks you to. Yeah. What really sits deep. Yeah. Yeah. And you can only access that when you are kind to yourself, when you bring in totally. a lot of stuff, then the yeah. devils will emerge. And then do, do, do it. Yeah. Because take action. Think yeah. about yeah. doing it. Yeah. And we say, oh, I'm going to do it when I have time. That never yeah. happens. You yeah. take that time yeah. for the thing that you love doing. You can have the most horrible day job if you have a hobby that you love. Yes. Your life will be, guess what? Happy. Yes. You have the power, the inner little superhero that you have yeah. is what does that for you? You know, it helps you to find something that you love, powers you to do it. And guess what happens? There's happiness creeping in, I can assure anyone. Totally, totally. <laughs> you do more things that you truly love. And, and the truly love is really the key because you have to be courageous sometimes to, to sure. do it. You know, you have to put on your Captain Marvel outfit, step out into the tube and go to Comic-Con with your teenage son. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you have to be stubborn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to be stubborn to do that. And most of all, you have to be strong. And and strength is is um, emotional strength and physical strength is, yes. is the key to to propel yourself into the right direction, to give yourself confidence and and peace and um and feel the love that you have for yourself. Yeah. So and yeah. Just take action and be happy. Make, make self-love your superpower. And there's much that can go wrong, really. Yes, totally <laughs> agree with you. Thank yeah. you a lot, Cordy. We had a lovely conversation. I remind everyone again, uh, post, bio, uh, YouTube, yes, my come uh, website. Me, come dance with me. I would Yes, love actually, to you inspired you. me. I, I've also dancing is something that was always there, you know, one day. Yeah, come check it out. Inspired me. And yeah, also you are come, local for me. It's super easy. Do come uh, down. Um, I'm at the, uh, on Fleet, on, on Fleet on Road, Fleet right Road. next, yeah. to, next yeah. to the Royal Free Hospital. And I do teach, um, um, or I, I, the first class that you take with me is always free because you need to know what, what you're getting okay, yourself right. in. Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> so, yeah, please come dance with me and, um, and have a good time. And the best part of it is now that we're back in the studio. We can all go afterwards and have a coffee. Yes. <laughs> and, you know. That's make it, um, makes it even more interesting. <laughs> that does. Thanks guys. a lot. Online, Thank that's you. not possible, but uh, live. Yeah, in live. <laughs> yeah. Thank you again. I leave you now and uh, see you in my next episode. Bye.